Hey everybody, my name is Jade Designs and today I'm doing something a little out of character. Um, I am doing an unboxing and I've done kawaii boxes and stuff like kawaii fashion and stuff on my um, YouTube before. Stop chewing on everything! God! If you haven't seen the, one of the videos I'm coming out with just yet or if it's already out there, I don't know yet. But I just recently moved which is why my background looks so different again. Um, I'm renting out my own place now with my boyfriend and a roommate. So this is one of our bedrooms. Um, we get two bedrooms. I'm using one for a studio and then this one is my shared bedroom with my boyfriend. Um, I'm setting up the studio today and tonight hopefully. So hopefully you guys will get way more content here soon. Um, I'm currently in college so I'm dying just a little bit. But since I'll have not such a messy place to film in and things, um, I'll be able to create awesome content for you guys. But here is Casper's little cage back here too. <laughs> But today I am unboxing a pup box. If you guys have heard of Bark Box, I think this is, I'm not for sure, but it might be by the same people. But this is a pup box and it says on the back, Puppy Bliss has arrived. And um, um, I think you're actually supposed to open it up like this and not this. I thought the address side was the side you open up. Oops. Why do I always mess up? Okay, yeah. So this pup box, I got it half off. I think they're about $40 usually. I'll pop the screen up here. But I use some kind of code using Honey. And this is the first time Honey's ever saved me money. Usually it doesn't. And I'm sorry that you hear that crinkling noise from Casper. He's got his little, he's got his corn cob and it's like crinkling all over the place. But this cost me about 19 bucks. So um, let's see if it was a good deal or not. So let's go ahead and get them open with um, Casper here. And he's going to help me unbox these and test everything out. Quit eating paper off the ground stop you're awful he, i'm still bite training him by the way he's still puppy biting which i know he's a little bit too old for that but we got him as a rescue we haven't had him since he was a baby baby and he's about he's just now starting to lose his baby teeth and stuff so he's about six months he's getting a few adult teeth in and we're taking him to get his shots um monday so they'll be able to give him us uh, a guesstimate of what his age is so let's go ahead and open this so pup box with pup box, you tell them how old you estimate your dog to be, and then they send you boxes. Of... <laughs> Stop it with the corn cob! Oh my gosh! And then they send you boxes based off of your puppy's age. So that's how this works. So these boxes, the box I have right now is going to be based around a six-month-old puppy, and the box that you would receive the next month would be for a month-older dog. So they change it each time. So as you can see, he's over here trying to bite me. Um, Y'all... This is Casper. Um, say hi! He's, he is a blue tick hound, I believe. But to be honest, I have no idea. I think he's just a mutt, to be honest. If you all have any tips for bite training, tell me. Because I've tried everything from just handing him a chew toy and just the whole shit or screeching really loud. And it just doesn't work with him. It just seems to make him go for it even more. So, let's go ahead and open this and see what's inside. Let's see. So with this, it gives you some kind of training guide and how to train based on what age your puppy is. This is back to the basics. Training is forever, like fur. And then it says just some tips on how to train your puppy, yada, yada, and all that stuff. You guys can pause it and read it if you want to. And then this is the training and development for your seven-month-old. Okay, so this was for a seven-month-old. Um, I thought I'd put six, but it's probably, I just put a seventh probably because I was just estimating. Because he's... He's gotten pretty big since we got him, but it's just showing you how to treat and do all this and teach them how to do sit, stay, down, stay, and applying stay skills. So there's that. I'll probably be reading this and trying to teach him later. He knows sit, but we're still working on the stay command and the wait command. He's trying to get a treat out of the bottom of his thing, I think. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. <laughs> Being weird. So let's take a look at what's inside here. So the first thing it seems is like, I'm going to pull out the treats first. Lamb liver protein meat topper by Small Bashes, the Pet Gourmet, created with care. Use it as a topper, treat, or add-in for premix for dogs and cats. So here's what it looks like. It's just a little plain white baggie here. Front and back, well, kind of off-white gray. 
Um, use our lamb liver as a topper for your dog's food or serve it as a treat or reward. Lamb liver is a great source of protein and your dog will love the crunchy texture. As with any treat, always serve with fresh water. And it shows you the um, analysis behind it and the ingredients. It's just straight lamb liver. It shows you the crude protein, fiber, etc. All that. And it gives you the stay date right here. And this lasts till 2022. He says I make a mess. Come here, Casper. You want to come try it? Oh, he says yes. <laughs> get out of the box. Get out of the box. Come here, get out of the box. Come here. He is so excited. You don't have to come around that way. Come around this way. He is extremely excited. Oh, these are kind of big. Okay, let's see if he likes it. Come here. Casper, sit. Sit. Okay, good boy. Good. You want to try it? They almost look like dehydrated wood chips. Like, just weird. He doesn't know what to make. Think of it. I did figure out how to eat it. Do you like it? Is it kind of weird? He's used to tiny little training treats. I probably should have given him one that's even smaller. Try a little piece. Hmm. Not a big hit, I don't think. Maybe? Is it a big hit? You like it? Is it weird? Hmm? Want to try a bigger piece then? So while I'd say those were a hit, they weren't exactly like, uh, he didn't go crazy for it, but he does seem to like them. Um, I forgot that he was missing a couple of his teeth where he's getting his adult teeth in and he had a hard time chewing the bigger blocks. So I had to break him off in smaller pieces for him to really go for it, but he did seem to like it. So I'd say that was a win. Let's see, what is this? I've never seen one of these before. Let's see, it is a cow hoof. Um, feed as a snack or reward. This project is this product is intended for intermittent intermittent or supplemental feeding only. This is a pet chew, not intended for human consumption. I've never given any of my dogs anything like this. I'm not gonna give this to him right now, but I'll give you guys a clip later. Yes, but he actually really likes it. He got it in his cage. I threw it in there to try to get him in there while we um get our mattress stuff on here because we just got a new mattress but he seems to really like it so far like i think it's because it's new and it has a different texture but he seems to really like it you got you new doing a new treat a new treat <laughs> so we're just gonna set that over there let's see the next thing he has is a kong wubba squeaks Let's see, it says fun interactive play. Is this reinforced fabric and stitching perfect tug and toss toy? Important, not a chew toy. <laughs> oh, I gotta start. Will you put walking in the box? <laughs> I gotta take the zip tie off of it. You like it? You like it? What, you wanna try it? See, I think this will have to be an inside or outside toy, Bubby. <laughs> I'd say I give this one a 10 out of 10 just because it squeaks and it, he's never tried to tug a war with me before so this is interesting. <laughs> Next we have this. I'm going to assume this is one of those treat holders like the rubber Kong treat holders but there should be some kind of invoice that tells you what these are. So this is called the Soda Pup Stuffable Turkey Rubber Toy Red Large. Um, it is a food dispensing toy and is built to withstand some of the pow most powerful canine chompers. But this might actually be a little bit too big for him. Come here, Casper. Casper. Is this too big for you? Yeah, that's... Oh, well, no. Not really. It's almost too big for him. He can definitely toss it around and things. Come here, you want to show? Show the camera. Come here. Come here. Yeah, he can definitely fit that. It's just... It's just a tiny bit big, but he'll, he'll still be able to play with it and get treats and toys out of it. Or, uh, I feed him his food out of his Kong and toys like this. And some people say that that's cruel because, you know, just let them eat, whatever. But Casper is so hyper and just so interactive that he has to have something to wear him out. Especially when I'm attending my college classes or going to work. He has to have something to wear him out so he can nap later.
He's still trying to figure out how to get some out. I put his kibble in there. He's not attached to this leash. He just knocked it out. Oh, he got some. He got some. Ooh. Let's see. The last thing we have in this box. Sad. It's over. Oh, I squeaked it before. I should have. Let's see. This is a Kong Squeak Air Tennis Ball Medium. Don't stop retrieving with these ultimate tennis ball created for the interactive game of fetch. They're made with an ultra thick shell and tough core sensor. They also float. Um, it's super light. Like it's amazingly light and it's obviously squeaky. And this is definitely a 10 out of 10 hit with Casper. Um, <laughs> he immediately went for that. So he loves this one. And the, the noise is so high pitched. Casper, sit. Casper, sit. Sit. Okay, you can have it now. But he loves that one. Um, it seems he's really going for all the toys in this box. So hopefully this will give him some more things to do. I'm going to put some food in this for his dinner later to let him just knock it around and get it out. But um, this squeaky ball, I would say, is his favorite. He's not wanting to let me have it back. So all in all, for 19 bucks. Um, this was an amazing box for just $19. So sadly enough, I accidentally lost the footage to the last part of that clip that gives my final thoughts. But all in all, for $19, that box was amazing. I loved all the, um, toys that came with it. Casper's favorite was obviously the squeaky ball. And he just really, really loved it. Um, the turkey feeder, amazing. He plays with it every time he eats. And it's just amazing because it helps him get that energy out and it makes him settle in for nap time. And then the tug of war toy has not broken yet, which is amazing because Casper breaks stuff super quick. Even though he's only four months, he's averaging about around 20 pounds. He's 18.7 pounds. So he does do some damage sometimes, even though he doesn't have his adult teeth in yet. But um, with that being said, I hope you guys liked today's video. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the description box for all my social media links and my shop page. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.